G'day everybody, it's Daniel McCabe here at GI Energy again. Today we're talking about solar panels in Brisbane. By the end of this video, hopefully you'll be able to decide whether you think it's worthwhile getting solar panels for your home and business if you're located in Brisbane. So Brisbane is obviously the capital city of Queensland, otherwise known as the Sunshine State. So that should give you some indication as to how well solar panels are going to perform. In a state that's called the Sunshine State, obviously we get lots of sunshine here, so it's no surprise that in a recent Clean Energy Council report, it showed that there was one in three homes, so over half a million homes now in Queensland that have solar panels already installed, which makes us the leading state in the whole country in terms of solar penetration per rooftop. Now, specifically talking about Brisbane, we're blessed here with 283 days of sunshine per year. If you compare that to most other cities around the world, we're very, very fortunate to have a huge amount of sunshine here for us, which obviously means we can have a great outdoor lifestyle and also means that your solar panels are gonna produce more energy than in most other cities. So the first thing we're gonna look at is how much energy you can produce with your solar panels in Brisbane. Then we're gonna explain what that all means and go through the terminology for the solar beginners there. Then we're gonna look at briefly at batteries and whether or not you think they'll be worthwhile for you with your solar panels in Brisbane. And then we're gonna have a look at government rebates, so how much money will the government pay basically for you to have solar panels installed. And then we're gonna look at what the cost is gonna to be to you and what the overall return on investment will be. So how quickly will you get that money back? So first of all, let's have a look at how much energy you can produce with solar panels in Brisbane. So the chart here will show you basically in Brisbane, if you have one kilowatt of solar installed on your roof, you're likely to produce 4.2 kilowatt hours of solar energy every day of the year if you average it out. Now bearing in mind, this figure has been taken from what the Clean Energy Council tell us we should use as our production estimates. It is an average figure and it does take into consideration cloudy days, winter months, summer months, and it's also based on a north facing roof with no shade. So obviously with your own roof, you'd have to look at the orientation, the angle, the potential shading, and then of course, what type of products you're using as well. So all of those things are gonna mean that that number is gonna vary from one home or business to another, but broadly speaking, a good place to start is to base it on 4.2 kilowatt hours of solar production per kilowatt of solar panels installed on your roof. You can see from the chart there, a typical home system these days is between five and 13 kilowatts, which means that as a five kilowatt system, as you can see, you'll be producing around 21 kilowatt hours of solar energy every single day when averaged out across the year. If you go up to a reasonable sized commercial system, which would be 100 kilowatts, then you'd be producing roughly 420 kilowatt hours of usable solar energy per day when averaged out. Before we move on from solar production, it's probably worth noting that some systems that we've installed over the years on really good roofs where customers have requested very high quality solar panels, we've seen results 37% higher than that annual average of 4.2 per kilowatt installed per day. So if you install a very good quality system and you use a very good installer, there's no reason why you can't produce a lot more energy than that standard 4.2 calculation suggests. So what does that all mean? We're talking about kilowatts and kilowatt hours here. The basic way for you to understand how that's actually gonna impact your power bill is if you have a look at the back of your power bill, you'll see that the units that you're charged in are called kilowatt hours. So every kilowatt hour that you used, you'll be getting charged an amount for, typically between 18 and 24 cents, depending on the tariff that you're on. So every time you use a kilowatt hour, you'll be charged that amount. Every time your solar system produces a kilowatt hour, it can therefore save you that amount. So if you're using the energy, it will save you from buying one kilowatt hour from the grid. If you sell it back into the grid, if so you export that power, then you'll be paid a feed-in tariff, which can range anything from around eight cents in Brisbane up to about 14 cents at the time of recording. That's a simple way of explaining it. You might also notice that you have some demand charges now, peak demand fees on your bill, which are charged in kilowatts. And we'll put a link up to an article that explains that portion of the bill in more detail. 
If on the front of your power bill, you may also have a little chart that shows you how you've used energy over the last 12 months. And that might vary. Usually it's higher in summer when people are using air conditioning a lot more. And then in the winter months, obviously we're not too cold here in Brisbane. So heating is not usually an appliance that's used too much. So your bills typically will dip a little bit in the winter. So it's important before you start sizing a solar system that you have a look at your load across the 12 months and also consider how you're using power over a 24 hour period. Some people will use more power during the day and less at night. Most homes will use more after people come home from school and work and then through till the evening when people go to bed and perhaps early in the morning when everybody's using things to cook breakfast and use showers, etc. So you really need to have a look at your load profile before sizing a system. Obviously the guys here at GI Energy can help you do that, but typically you'll be able to see what your average daily use is on that little chart on your power bill. And then that's a good starting point to try and work out what size system you'll need based on the previous chart that shows the production of the solar system and the size that you need to get to that production. Lots of people now are starting to purchase batteries. There's more and more reason to purchase batteries as the days, weeks and months go on. We have another article that shows you exactly how batteries work, which we'll put a link in for. But essentially, as time goes on, feed-in tariffs are decreasing, which means that you get less money for excess energy that you produce during the day, which makes a battery more valuable. There are some other components there also, which will give you more savings with the battery, which if you're interested in looking at, click on the link below and you'll see more detail there in one of our videos about batteries. In terms of government assistance for helping you pay for solar panels in Brisbane, there are generous rebates around. It's worth mentioning that at the end of every calendar year, that government subsidy is reduced. So the portion that the government will pay for you goes down and down each year, which was originally designed so that as the cost of solar panels decreases, the government subsidy comes down at the same time, which keeps solar affordable for homeowners. We have reached a point now where solar panels have stopped decreasing in cost. And more recently, we've had some increases in cost. So that steep decline in the cost of solar equipment is now over. And unfortunately, it's either plateaued or is gonna increase in, in the coming years. That being said, the government subsidies at the time of recording for solar panels in Brisbane are extremely generous. You can see from this chart that Australia is split into four different zones. Brisbane is in zone three. What that means is that they will get more government subsidy than somebody that is located in zone four because we have more sunlight. Zone one is higher again. So if you live in Mount Isa or areas in the Northern Territory, you would get more sunlight hours than we do here in Brisbane. And therefore you get a higher government subsidy. In terms of dollar value, you can see there that zones two and three are actually the same. And if you follow the chart, a three kilowatt system, as an example, you would get $1,116 as a government subsidy to help pay for that system. A common home system size would be six kilowatts, which you can see there in zone two and three, you would get $2,268 as a government subsidy to help pay for that system. So they are quite generous. They have been running for a long time. We don't know when that government subsidy will stop. So if you're serious about solar energy and serious about installing solar panels in Brisbane, our advice is always get some quotes and if it all adds up for you, get it done before anything changes here. The next consideration is how much is it actually gonna cost you to install solar panels in Brisbane after that government rebate? So if you look at the chart on the left, which is in our article, you can see here that a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system which is a typical smaller size system these days in Brisbane, will cost between $5,987 up to about $13,590. Please bear in mind that we've taken a lot of averages into consideration here. The low cost is for a very good quality system still. You can buy solar energy for less than that in Brisbane, but we've started with a good quality system and a relatively straightforward install right the way up to the best money you can buy with a more complicated install. So that's your range if you're looking at a six kilowatt system. The chart there also goes through eight, 10, 13, 15, and 20 kilowatt systems, which are the usual range of systems that people purchase in Brisbane at the moment. 
For commercial systems, the price is quite varied depending on the install, so you'd have to get in touch with us if you were looking at something that was larger than 20 kilowatts. We've also got two categories there, one without a battery and then one with a battery. As you can see, the battery does add a fairly significant cost to the overall package. That being said, as we mentioned before, the value of having a battery installed now is going up and up as each year passes. So again, we'll put the link in to the battery article below where you can see a video and an article explaining exactly how those battery benefits work. And then if you are considering a battery, you'll know by the end of watching that video and reading that article, whether or not you can justify that higher cost and whether or not you think it's something that is worthwhile for your home or for your business. So as mentioned at the start of this video, obviously Brisbane gets more sunlight hours than most cities across the world. We're very fortunate here that we also have large government subsidies that will help us pay for solar panels here in Brisbane. When you combine all of that together, it really means that you can get your money back that you outlay on a solar system from anywhere between three and six years typically, depending on how you use energy, how much you pay for your system, and then of course the angle, orientation and shade that may be on your roof. So there are some variables there to consider. At GI Energy, we have sophisticated proposal software where we can use your home address to basically put solar panels on the roof and give you those production estimates and those saving estimates. It's very easy, it's free to do, and there's no obligation. So if you'd like to see exactly how much solar panels can save you in Brisbane, please get in touch and we'll do a free proposal for you that outlines all of this specifically for your home. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've got some value out of this video and we'll put some links in for some other potentially helpful things for you to watch and read after.